What's good, YouTube? It's your man, CJ Kyle's checking in once again, back with another video. <sighs> now, I got about seven minutes to spare before I go in here and take my nap um, before I head to class. And um, I just wanted to talk about this situation that continues to develop with the baby, the rapper, the baby, and his baby mama now known as the certified side B. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this situation is foolery at its finest. I mean, let's not get it twisted. It's definitely foolery at its finest. It's ratchetness at its highest. It's uh, just nigga-ish, if you will. But I do think in every scenario, you can get an inkling of positivity. You can learn something from it. And I wouldn't say that I necessarily learned, but it kind of reinforced things that I already knew, right? I want to talk to my, my male nurses, uh, since I am a nurse, and I also want to talk to any successful men out there, you dig? And, and ladies, you can listen as well, but I, I really want to talk to the fellas because what this situation has showed me what this situation with the baby and his baby mama has showed me is one thing in particular. And that one thing is successful men have everything to lose. I'm going to say that one more time. Successful men have everything to lose. One slip up. And you're done. You are done. Okay, well, let's backtrack a little bit. The baby had a situation where he was trying to get his baby mama out the house, according to the video. The baby mama uh, did not want to leave, according to him. Apparently, they were not together. She says they were together. The baby gets on live and starts recording and telling the world what happened. Now... I've been seeing all kind of comments about how he's a B.A.N. And for those of you who don't know, he's a B.A. You know what it means. He is soft. He's weak. He's all that kind of stuff because he called the cops on his baby mama. Right. And they have ran with the narrative that he called the cops on a baby mama and the three month year old child. Now, again, I am no uh advocate of the baby i don't know the baby i've only heard a few songs by the baby so i really have no dog in this particular fight but one thing that you can take from this situation is that men of value successful men whatever you want to call them have everything to lose and you have to be very careful with whom you deal with and the areas that you deal in and the people from those areas, okay? People look at me crazy when I say I'm, I'm secluded and I don't do everything with everybody, but it's for a reason. It's to prevent situations like that. The baby went on live to protect himself. Now, you may not like what he said to her, right? You may not like what he said to her. You may not like what he called her. And I'm not even co-signing what he called her. But what I am doing is I am applauding the baby for calling the cops. I'm applauding him for it because that situation could have went totally left. He could have put hands on her. He could have done something far worse than call her a side B. It could have went way left. But you know what did happen? She was charged for, uh, for assault. Two accounts of assault. She was charged for that. Now, can you imagine had them cameras, had that camera not been rolling and some things really did pop off in that house and what could have happened? And again, I'm not saying the baby is right and what he did with, I don't know how they're handling their parenting situation. Uh, I don't know. I'm not in the house, but the only thing I can show you and I can talk about is the things that the world has already seen and men 
you have to be careful with whom you deal with and you have to be careful with whom you skeet in. Now the baby is a multi-millionaire, multi-millionaire. So maybe he can afford a couple baby mamas who are gonna hit him up for child support. Hopefully he has his business dealings in order where he can handle that accordingly. Let's just hope so. But nonetheless, you have now created another woman who is scorned, right? So if things don't, and I know it's been worse situations than this where women have gone back to their baby daddy. So that could always happen. But like I said, let's just say it doesn't happen and you do be, continue to come successful. This woman can now live off your seed for the rest of her life. Most men are, don't have the financial income that the baby have. You did? Most men don't have that. I know fellas right now that's truck drivers that's paying crazy, crazy amounts for child support. Crazy. You have to watch everything you do, fellas. The more successful you become, the more visible you become, you have to watch every single move that you do because all it takes is one mistake. One mistake. And you can lose it all. And the reason that I can relate to this so much is that when I was 21, I was in a situation with a young woman. It, it did not turn out well, right? It didn't turn out well. We were arguing and she slapped me. Yes, she put her hands on me. She slapped me. I never touched her. And she was begging me to hit her. She was like, hit me, hit me. I'll never forget it. I remember like it was yesterday. She was like, hit me because she knew that if I hit her, everything that I was going to become was in the can. All the dreams, all the ambitions, everything, it was over. I could not have gotten into this field with those kind of charges and she was begging. So you know what I did? And I don't care what you think about me. I called the cops. I saved my life and I saved her life. I called the cops because I'll be damned. I'll be damned to go out for a chick and, and, and lose my cool for a woman and lose everything for a woman who I'm not even finna be with like that. And I thank God I had enough common sense. I thank God that my that my pops was in my life that taught me what to do in situations like that. I thank God that I was not emotional. I thank God that I was logical because I could have lost it all messing with that person off that one scenario. It's a lot of guys who, who, who have lost it all off situations like that. They might not even be bad people. People make mistakes and they slip up. Now, again, I don't know the baby. I don't know him. I don't know what kind of person he is. I really don't. But as far as that situation is concerned, I applaud him because it could have went left. And another thing, people love to talk about Oh, he's a killer. He's a killer. The man was defending himself and his daughter. Stop. If y'all gonna mention that, say the whole thing. Like he just going around dropping bodies. Just say the whole thing. He was defending himself and his daughter. And I'm not trying to be his advocate, but say the whole thing. Now, some of y'all may call him a hood dude and all that kind of stuff. Whatever. That's neither here nor there. But what I do know is that you choose who you choose, right? And if a person is displaying all these actions, a person's past will give you a pretty good indication of their present most of the time. So take heed to the past. If you if you see he got three baby mamas, it's a good chance you may be the fourth. It's a good chance. That's all I'm saying, ladies. Fellas, same with you. You don't just, you gotta be careful of the type of women that you surround yourself with. Especially the more successful you become and the more visible you become. You dig? So that's all I really got to say about the situation, man. Hopefully y'all got something from this. If not, it was just my chance to rant about a situation that's going on right now. But 
I mean, I really hope the baby and, 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 and Danny Lee or whatever her name is, I hope they work the situation out for the sake of the child. Um, I am very glad that the baby recorded and called the cops because uh, it could have went left. Could have went left. Uh, people could have been hurt. And, you know, it could have went left. Good job, fellas. If you ever in a situation like that, call the police. Don't lose it all over over a second of anger or emotion call them cops call them police it's flip the script flip, i am a hundred percent behind that i don't care what y'all think about me because i'm not going to jail over no bra who don't care about me that's craziness that's craziness and even if she did care i'm not going to jail because i'm i'm about to hit, or i hit somebody or i assaulted a woman no thanks no thanks i'll take my lick but you got to get up out of here you gotta go. Shout out to the baby. I don't co-sign with what he called her. I don't co-sign that. But shout out to the baby. So it is what it is. That's my thoughts. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll holla at y'all in a minute. Peace.